Right, second video. We have done a video of how to upgrade the rear lights on your Range Rover Sport from the early type to this late LED type. Early one's in the boot, if you want. Early one's in the boot, let's have a look. So, oh, it's not, my boots, my boot motor's not happy at the moment. Right, so this is the, sorry, this is the early type, this is the late type. So this video is a second part really about the sort of nuances, the fine differences you can get. So we fitted, and the video we did was fitting aftermarket rear lights. So let's have a look. I'm going to put the hazard lights on and then I'll put the lights on. But Ian will explain. Right, so. Right, so this is. That's the hazards. There you go. So we got our dynamic sweep going on. Everyone's loving that. And it's all good until we turn the lights on. And then you can't see the indicator anymore. It's there, it is happening, but... You can see it going, if I hold the camera at that angle. But from a distance, you can struggle to tell that the indicator's going, and it is still on. But what we've done is we've designed a circuit board so that when you've got the tail lights on and the indicator, it kills the tail lights. So if you zoom back so you get both lights in, it can. And I turn the tail lights off. And then if I turn the tail lights on. There we go. So this one's got our board that we've designed to rework it, to get all your lights working properly. And we need to check the genuine ones, but we believe this is the functionality that everyone wants. And even the gen ones won't give you this. Fitting a genuine, the later genuines in an early car won't gen, won't work like we've modified this. It car. won't give you that dynamic sweep. But the genuine 2018 cars do work like this. Yes. So we've we've got it. To this work is like just this is if you're doing a retrofit. Right. So we're going to go on this side. We're going to show. Um, we're going to show you what you've got to do. Now, obviously, if you've got the lights new, you won't need to do this. But if you bought them from somewhere else and you want to modify it. We may sell the circuit boards. I'm half tempted to keep the circuit boards just to people who buy our lights, but I guess we'll put them up for sale for everybody because we love everybody. We, it's not just about the money. So we haven't yet tested these circuit boards with the gen lights to see what they do no, or what effect they have. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that and we'll, we'll get another video. We'll do a separate video. video for people who want to fit genuine lights because uh -huh, there are some people that always want. So we've undone the two screws, remove the panel. And then just pull towards you. Pull that out. Undo the clip. Okay, right. So, you will have bought a pair of these lights, or you have a... Um, and basically, we've designed a circuit board here. Um, and we've had these made. It's got our part number on it. It's got our branding on it. And basically, it's two sides. So there's three wires going in and three wires going out. So it comes in from the car side. So... So the car side, side being the plug. The connector side. And then this is the lamp side. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut three wires here. Now we've done a little diagram. So obviously this is left and right. The earth colour is different on the lights. So that's the only difference. So you've got on the left hand light you've got a black earth cable. On the right hand light you've got a brown earth cable. So this is so you don't have to interfere with your car wiring at all. You can leave that standard. This is just for our aftermarket lights. Yeah, that is worth saying. So if you're getting them from somewhere else and we do set of boards. might be different. But yeah, we need to do the earth wire, the tail light and the indicator wire. So, you're, so let's have a look, Ian. So we've got to cut the earth wire. And we want to cut these all about the same length. So we want to cut the black wire. And then your diagram's telling me I need to cut the green, green wire. And the yellow. So I'm cutting them all about the same length. And the yellow wire. Oh my goodness, there we go. They're all a bit tangled, but we'll just sort that out in a minute. The yellow, about the same length. There we go. So for this, you're gonna need some snips for doing that. You're gonna need some wire strippers, which we'll want next, just to uh, take the insulation off the end of the wires. You'll need a, a small flathead screwdriver, if it right, focuses. So I've, I've tried to separate the, the ones that we haven't been cut from those. Now there we go, so let's have a go. I forgot how we use these so in. You need the 18. Yeah, go on in, you do it. 
So now if you're really keen, once you've stripped the wire off, you could We would recommend solder, solder in the ends, tinning them, it gives them a stops them oxidizing. The copper will go green. Um, if you solder them, they, they won't go green. It gives you a more solid uh, cable as well. It's yeah, when you... stiffer, it doesn't crush as much, so you don't end up with a bunch of strands trying to make the connection. But we're doing this quick for the video. Right, now I will say, if you've already bought these rear lights from us, um, without this board, if you give us a ring, we will send you the boards out for free. But we know who you are, because we've got it all on the computer, but just email in the email on your invoice and say, Simon says I can have some free boards. Girls in the office will be delighting. Right, so we're putting these in. Right, so we're following following the brown diagram. Is, brown is earth, and it's also all labelled on the board here as well. Yeah. But yeah, you won't know what earth then. Next one down is, the middle one is green. Green for our tail lights. And this is connector sign. So yeah, car side is towards your connector, lamp side is towards the lamp. You could if you really wanted installed it on your vehicle wiring, but we've given you the colours for for yeah. our lights right, to yeah. suit our lights so that you don't have to mess with your vehicle wiring. You can at put all. your vehicle back to standard. If you want to sell it and you put the original lights back in, you can put your car back to standard. And these are just little grub screws in here, so little flathead screwdriver. Right now before you put that one on Ian, you wanna put your heat shrink will go heat over shrink. the whole thing. Oh it goes on, sorry. It's all right. You could put it on there, but we supply one that will go over the connector because it's got to fit over this big relay board yeah. anyway. So. so, same on the other side, black at the top, green in the middle, yellow at the bottom. Right, then we'll get the, put the heat shrink over and heat shrink that all up and then we'll plug that in and see if that works. So the wires are all going straight through. We've designed it so, so the colours just go straight through the board. Yeah, so we've got the genuine lights up here. I'm gonna have a play with those. We've got a bit more testing to do with them. We've got to test the NAS and the non-NAS and see what the differences are. And try and get as much info as we can before you, we tell you guys. Although we do make it up as we go along as well. But we're happy to blow our car up. That's the general rule, isn't it? Now, the, the heat shrink won't fully grip on the wires, obviously, because it doesn't shrink that much. But what it's doing is just going round the board and making sure the board's not going to touch anything in your rear. Stop it rattling as well. Right. Okay, let's plug that in. Put that in so you've got plenty of room yeah, down the back there for that connector. Right. You've got to wriggle them as a little locator pin there. They're not the easiest light to fit in, but anyway, that'll do for demo purposes. Have I got the key? I've got the key. Right, so now let's see. There you go, so you've seen it unlock there and you saw that do everything right. And now, put your hazards on. Yeah, and then put your side lights on. Now turn your indicator off. Yeah. There we go. So that now we. So that's the retrofit. That's the fix to turn the side light, the tail light off when you're indicating, and you get a much clearer visibility of the swoop. So there we go. Good luck with that.